Northern Arizona Barbecue Outfitters. I'd like to introduce you to our Sedona Barbecue Pit. It's a vertical smoker with the Boot Hill Cooker. Going over the smoker, here's our firebox, directly below the smoking chamber. The vents is adjustable. And you simply just screw it in to lock it in place. Wash out if you want to rinse it out and get all the dirt and stuff out of it. Um, you open it up. Here's the fire grate, expanded metal. Put a place over top of this heavy duty 5.8 solid round grate we got in here. And it makes all the coal filter or the coal charcoal filter down here to the bottom so you get a good burn on everything. You simply flip the door, I'll come on this side, push in, and locks in place. On the smoking chamber, the, uh, the door is pressure sealed. So we got a little gasket behind here to ensure that it keeps the heat in. You just press up and then open. Inside the, uh, the smoker, we got five shelves, about three inches of spacing in between each shelf. If you pull a shelf out, obviously you increase it so you can get you know turkey or something larger in there. I'll continue to the shelves and go over the separation between the firebox and the smoking chamber. This is the water pan. And if you come in here, you can see what we've got is a big V that's welded in place. Small drain hole in the back, and it separates the firebox from the smoking chamber. The water pan here is to keep, just fill it with water or apple juice, whatever you want to put in there, to keep the smoking chamber more. And the reason why you do that is because this is a direct smoker, meaning the firebox is directly below the smoking chamber, and it will tend to be a little drier than an offset, so that's why you have the water pan in here. And then when you're ready to clean it out, you simply raise it up, empty the water into the lower water pan, and then I'll go around back and show you the, uh, the drain drain valve and you can see the door is really simple to close just one hand coming back behind here this is the the drain valve so when you empty all that water out put a little bucket right here open it up clean out the smoker and it's very fast and easy a pull handle or to paint your tools or to move the smoker with smokestack adjustable rain cap right here with the um, little locking pin we got right there going over the grill so we got the boot hill cooker obviously on the firebox it's got five vents three down here by the uh, fire grate and two at the top or the smoker or the top of the grill we have a uh, outside grease management system we call it and we'll just open this up and I'll show you how all that works so here's the uh, Argentine grate it's fixed with a trough Grease filters down into this hole, and you can open up this drain valve right here instead of pulling the trough out, and you can catch the, uh, the drippings in here. And like one of the clients said, you can make some really cool basting just by catching the drippings, adding some stuff to it, and putting it back on your meat. Um, going over the, uh, the fire grate. So here's your fire grate. And you know, it's typical Santa Maria style. You can bring the fire grate up close. I'll show you how close it'll get it for a good sear right up next to the uh, to the grates and or you drop it down about as low as it'll go roughly right about there and I get it away from the meat this little pull out guy here is when you're done cooking or done uh, with the fire you pull this out you sweep your ash into that hole and then you can come back here to the back side, slide this drawer out and go empty your ash out. So you got a drawer here and you've also got a drawer here. And each drawer, this is your ash clean out drawer, this is a storage drawer so you can put your extra grates and things. Coming back around on this side over here, located next to the, uh, the grease drain, we have another vent. And this vent allows you to put like a log lighter inside of here. So you can place your coal on top of the log lighter or your wood and light it. And then when you're done, simply slide it out, turn that over to close up the vent. It's a very, uh, very heavy grill, weighs in about 950 pounds. This particular uh, cooker is a 36 inch cooker. So, you know, you can imagine the 48, it'll probably add another 150. So it'll be a little over a thousand pounds. It's fabricated out of 316 steel plate. 
Let's build very heavy duty, like we do everything here at Arizona Barbecue Outfitters. If you got any questions, call the shop, 520-622-8335, or visit our website, www.azbbqoutfitters.com.